I'm Jill Gabley. I'm a volunteer at the Mark, and this is the story of the Dr. McAnally safe. It's safe to say that this piece made history in the most unusual way. The theft of this 150 pound metal box from Dr. C. W. McAnally's home in Madison was reportedly the largest heist in North Carolina history for several years. In the early 1960s, rumors made their way around town that the dentist had a large sum of money in his home after reportedly cashing an $1,800 insurance check for one of his customers. Upon getting wind of this, seasoned criminals Henry Lewis Leonard of Lexington, Joseph Thomas Watkins of Madison, and Howard Eugene Knight of Charlotte devised a plan to enter the residence. Watkins and Knight made their move after watching Dr. McAnally leave to go back to his office after grabbing a bite of lunch on the afternoon of January 17, 1963. They had noticed Dr. McAnally deposit his house key in a wicker basket on the way out, so they simply went up to the porch and used the key to walk in, locate the safe, and hoist it into the back seat of a getaway car driven by Leonard, all in broad daylight. Once out of town, Leonard stopped at a hardware store in High Point so that Watkins could purchase the tools he needed, a screwdriver and a crowbar, to open the safe. Within 10 minutes, Watkins had used his safe cracking skills to open the metal box. To the robber's surprise, a lot of money fell out, $130,000 to be exact. Other contents included stocks and bonds which were left in the safe when it was disposed of in High Rock Lake. The trio of thieves was apprehended shortly after the heist. A jury trial in June at the Rockingham County Courthouse in this very building where the market exists today concluded with Watkins and Knight each being found guilty of breaking and entering and larceny. They were each sentenced to 15 years of prison time. Leonard got the same fate at a later trial the safe was eventually pulled out of 30 feet of water at the Davidson County Lake and donated to the mark by Dr. McAnally's daughter. The full story of the historic heist can be found under the History Corner tab at www.themarkonline.